is in second place behind Christy Yamaguchi. But here's the person who at the end of the short program was number one. Here's the person in the world who won the championship. We're talking about America's Jill Connery, who's on the ice now. Well, all Jill has to do is do what she does best. Be consistent and strong and do the program that she can do. She already has the presence that you'll notice the moment she starts. It is the presence of a champion. see the determination on her face. She knows the opening combination is important. Here comes a triple toe loop, double toe loop. Triple toe, and she didn't do the combination. She'll have to do it later on in the program. And here's the most difficult jump in her program, a triple flip. And she hangs on to it. It's close. Next jump coming up is her trademark, a one-foot axle into a triple sow cow. It's very difficult. One-foot axle is sort of an awkward jump lands on the opposite foot and right into a triple sow. Oh, and she had a little problem there. The music at the moment is LaBronda. She uses three different selections. And now she'll start with Out of Silence. Three-time national champion, turn 22 as the competition began. Just before the weekend. Well, that slip up on that triple sow just might open the door for Christy Yamaguchi. And sure. remembering that Nancy Kerrigan is yet to skate. She'll be the last on the ice. She certainly is, and she has a tough program as well. Changed a double axle into a single. Jill's starting to alter her program. She's really going to have to get tough right here because she doesn't want to open the door to let Christy Yamaguchi walk away with this championship. There's the double axle. I've got to be frank with you. When we saw the Yamaguchi scores, we thought that opened the door for Jill just to get out on the ice and do her thing and win this championship. But such is not the case. It's not a lock. It certainly isn't. Sometimes you don't know what's going to happen. Here comes another triple. A triple toe. And she'll have to do a combination because the second one has to be done in combination. Viewers at home don't know that when we repeat a triple, the second one has to be done in combination. And I don't know whether the judges will will recognize that, but she did two triple toe loops and one was not in combination. The last 40 seconds, the music is Chicos y Chicas. And as we said about Kurt Browning last night, when he had some problems, remember Jill Trunnery is the world champion, and yes. they will judge her as a world champion. There's a very nice triple sow cow, a nice way to end up the program. This is the part she has fun with. The audience really gets into this. they love in addition to her skating, her graciousness, her grace. We're looking now 
to go to be Tavin out in uh, Colorado. Where Jill trains in Colorado Springs, and of course we all know that Carlo Fossi, her coach, is about to go to Italy in about a month. And here's that triple sow cow she had trouble with. She just didn't seem to get the height she needed for that. It'll be interesting to see what the judges do because she did have a mistake. Though the long program is, is free and we, we can do whatever we want, we do have requirements. And when we repeat a triple jump, it has to be repeated in combination. Well, the flowers arrive for Jill Trenery. The judges continue to work. And we'll see if the scores are good enough to edge Christy Yamaguchi for the lead at the moment with Nancy Kerrigan yet to skate. I won't hazard a guess, although I will say there's Christy, that uh, when you are the champion in any sport, not just figure skating, you really have to perform to take that championship belt or crown away. There they are. Well, well, look here, five, six, five, seven, but remember she started ahead of Yamaguchi, who was in third place after the short program. One five eight. Well, I think Jill knows what's happened. And Christy Yamaguchi has moved ahead of Jill Trenery. Yamaguchi is going to take she a medal higher than Trenery, and it is up to Kerrigan how it's all going to turn out. And there is one of the big surprises. The judges judging Yamaguchi ahead of the performance by Trenery kept her down and we thought that Trenery would pick it up but she did not. She's now with Hammerstorm. Jill, one would think that Yamaguchi's performance put pressure on the other skaters. Were you feeling it when you started your routine? You know, I'm, I'm really happy the way I did. I, this time of the year I couldn't do much better than I did. Very happy about the triple flip and I gave it my all so that's all I can expect. Thanks, Jill. Jim? From the Olympic Fest where she won the gold to the Goodwill Games, Nancy Kerrigan of Stoneham, Massachusetts.